All right, guys, this is another test lather, another, not really a test lather, but a, another use of the brush, a test working of the brush. This is the Umo Manchuria Super High Density SHD Finest Badger Two Band. All these are parts of the name and many of them are synonymous, but you know, it is part of it and it's been mounted into my Wolf Whiskers handle. Um, I'm going to use as a test soap today. I'm a big fan of Sterling because they are a, a company that has good integrity and they provide a great value. $13 for 5.8 ounces of soap and it's a nice performing soap and they have tons of scents. I am a big fan. And this is Hipster. It's I haven't used it yet. I traded for it and I uh, I think I managed to get a hold of the splash and so that's how I knew I wanted to have the soap. I think that's how I kind of latched on to it. It's in kind of their cologne genre. There may be a cologne out there that's very similar to this one. And uh, here is the brush. What I did for the first shave yesterday, was just soak it for a few minutes, not too many. And I discovered that the tips weren't all that soft. They had a little bit of a, you know, I could just feel them a little bit more, um, not quite, definitely not scritchy or scratchy or any of those type of words, but I could, uh, I could, they were, it just wasn't all that soft. What I remembered was that I've encountered that before on the Fanchurian from That Darn Rob. I think it may be a V1. He's on to V5 or something like that now. But I had soaked that Fanchurian knot for a little bit before the shave, and it just wasn't all that soft and comfy. And then at the end of the shave, when I was putting on that third pass, I thought, wow, this feels great. Well, I discovered that particular kind of knot needed a longer soak to really get the tips soft. And so that's what I tried today. We're looking at half an hour soak. Let's just see what happens. Okay. Uh, so this is not going to be a full shave. This is just a, we're just going to kind of test lather and uh, I will work it on my face. And so it will be uh, an act. It won't be a palm lather or anything like that. So we'll shake out much of the water. Let's just load for a bit. So I'll get a chance to have this lather on my face and uh, have the scent be all around me and see if I enjoy it. And then the brush. I'll be have a chance to feel it. Oh, I'm hoping that the scent sorry, the Hoping that this brush softens up. Let me get a little bit of water in my face here. I'm not going to press very hard at first. I'm I'm no expert at face lathering. I I didn't do it for several months in the very beginning before I discovered the bowl and how I really like it. Um, but that was a long time ago. And I kind of lost my, some of those skills. Man, I am liking this scent. And the brush actually is softer than it was yesterday. So I don't know if just some use is going to be what this brush needs or if it needs that long soak, but I'll probably give it both for a while. I am feeling some of the, you know, tips. Yeah, this is starting to kind of smell like a cologne I've kind of smelled before. I like its strength here. A lot of times these cologne type scents are a bit on the weaker side, even from, from Sterling. It turns out this brush had a good bit of water in it, and so what the soap that I loaded, um, I'm looking at a pretty good mix, actually. 
I would add a little bit more water. So let's go ahead and do that. This is a knot that I put together recently. Glued it up in the handle. I believe Alan or somebody may have been asking, how do you get a wolf whiskers handle? Well, I, I don't really know. This one I got from from the actual maker himself because he came uh, to the Greensboro meetup in 2019. So he must be somewhere, you know, in the south or fairly convenient to the Carolinas or Tennessee or Georgia or Virginia or something like that. So, yes, this this brush has changed. It's almost soft now. Man, this lather. I've been using that MDC all of August and I miss this awesome lather right here. This is so good. Still needs a little bit more water and, and this is why I do not like face lathering folks because as you get the lather to the right consistency on your face the good stuff the wet stuff the really slick stuff comes off and you lose it it's gone just flies off it's all over you but let's be fair I just have too much soap probably on the brush and I need to back off a little bit on the loading so that it's, you know, holds more. So, you know, let's be fair. We don't want to blame face lathering when it's my technique of face lathering. That's the problem. All right. So what I wanted to find out was I wanted two things. I wanted to find out how the brush felt after one use yesterday. A long soak today of maybe even 45 minutes and it did feel softer I'm encouraged I have heard that some badgers need to be kind of worked over for a while I just haven't had one of those really yet most of mine have just been soft from the get-go uh, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it I'm gonna put some uses through this guy and we'll see what we get so that's it for today's lather I'm a hipster fan Actually, don't like hipsters at all generally many of their kind of stereotypical mannerisms not personally of course but I like the scent let's put it that way now I just finished dropping this on the towel and so you can kind of see the bloom looks great very dense pull back and maybe it'll be in focus better for you I wanted to make a point of saying that Sometimes when you order a knot, you may, it may pay to know a couple things first, because this is a 24 millimeter knot. Look at this huge splay. This is a big splay. I mean, sure, they get bigger, but I mean, this, look at me. I've got a big head and this easily is going to take care of business with this huge splay. Now I've got to rinse it again. Um, however, it is set pretty high in the handle if i set it three millimeters lower or deeper then the splay wouldn't be as much and so then it would be a smaller bloom smaller brush and so knowing the backbone of something is going to help you in figuring out maybe what size to get because i guarantee you if i would have got a 26 millimeter 28 millimeter knot and mounted it this high it would just be crazy huge however if i were to get those size knots sink them down a little lower they may turn into something more this size and but because they would be sunken down more into the handle they'd have less loft and they would have more backbone so smaller diameter let me keep it higher have less backbone for the the same size knot as a higher backbone but bigger diameter knot sunken a little deeper and so you may at some point in your shaving journey get a knot and realize 
you know what, the perfect, I like this a lot, but it would be more perfect if it had a little bit more backbone. So therefore you may want to sink it deeper. Then you may realize, well, this bloom isn't quite big enough for me. So in that case, you may want to buy a bigger knot so that you can sink it deeper, have the same size bloom while having more backbone. Uh, you got you new guys, you may have to listen to that a few more times. I tried to say it well, and I hope I did. And likewise, if you have a knot that you really like in the reverse, you like the softness of the tips, but you just like it to be a little bit less backbony, a little bit less stiff, a little bit easier to splay, then there's a couple things you can do. You can raise it up. That's one of the common easiest things. You can raise it up out of the handle a little bit, put a spacer in there. Nylon washers uh, do pretty well. I think I have a 3 8 inch nylon washer in here. So you can just raise it up. You could also get a slightly smaller diameter knot and then maybe you wouldn't have to raise it up. You could keep it at the same depth. You know, there's two different variables you could play that'll get you the same thing. So hopefully by explaining the inverse, that will help you understand the, the initial part there. So I'm liking it so far. I like the way it's headed. This little knot is a little softer than yesterday. I'm glad about that. I look forward to more little test lathers here. And I hope you are enjoying this. Thanks guys. Take care.